Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. States established a new frontier spreading its government over the new western territory, it found it almost impossible to cope with the lawlessness that ran rampant. Heroes of justice were born in those hectic days, stalwart men whose deeds have been recorded in the written history of this great country. Most picturesque and colorful of all is the phantom figure of the plains who rode astride a great white horse called Silver. Let us return to the west of old and thrill to another exciting adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! That's it, old fellow! We've a big job ahead of us! Dig in, old boy! I'll Silver! Away! United States Marshal Dan Calloway had been appointed to temper the reckless methods of the Western law agencies and do away with the unfair trials existing in those days. In the first scene of our Lone Ranger drama we find Steve Tucker, the sheriff of Grant County, in a heated argument with Calloway. I tell you, Calloway, you're all wrong. All this newfangled, doggone tomfoolery of yours is just the thing the crooks around here profit by. Your old style methods of punishing crooks was all right a time back, Tucker. But now, since the Gold Hills have brought so many folks, we need more law and order. Law and order is right. But I'm dad read it if you'll get that same by making it easy for crooks to get away with thieving and murder. Who says we're making it easy? I do. Maybe you are the U.S. Marshal, but you're still an idiot. According to law, a man's innocent till he's proved guilty. Ah, that means that we can know a critter is guilty just as well as we know our own name. But can't do nothing less than we can prove it. That's right. Ah, look at Slim Carter. That slick-haired, smooth-talking pole cat killed Bart Jones as sure as you were born. Wasn't proved. He stole a fold of money Pete Frisbee had saved up. He even spent that money. And still he went free when he come to trial. He wasn't proved guilty, Tucker. As sheriff, it's your job to get enough evidence to convince a jury. I just as much as seen Slim Carter kill old Bart. But you didn't see it, did you? I know he was guilty. Blast it all, Calloway. It is up to him to prove he wasn't guilty. That's where you're wrong, Sheriff Tucker. Your methods are old-fashioned. Now take my advice and run the office like it should be run, or you'll have to be replaced. Why, blast your hide. That dirty coyote Hey, Carter. watch your speech. In the eyes of the law, Carter is as honest as you are. Yeah. He's free when he should have swung a month ago. Free to go and rob and kill some more. That skunk is laughing at the law. You seem pretty sure of yourself, Sheriff. I am. He can do just what he doggone well pleases the way you handle things. Zeke Merrill will tell you the same. Zeke Merrill? Yes. He's worth a heap of money. Owns a big gold claim in the hills. Zeke will tell you what sort of critter Slim Carter is. How's he know? Same as me. We was together when we heard what old Bart said before he died. If only he was alive... 
He'd tell a few things about Carter, too. Well, there ain't no proof that Carter killed him. The and... word to Zeke Merrill and me ain't enough? No. Carter proved by witnesses that he was somewhere else. And that's all that's needed in a court of law. Listen, Calloway, you come with me. Where to? Zeke Merrill's house. I don't know if he'll be there or not. He might be out living in the shack at his claim like he does ever so often. But if he's to home, he'll tell you a few things about Slim Carter. I ain't interested in hearsay of it. Well, come along anyhow. Dad Rabbit, something has to be done to put Carter where he belongs. If it ain't done, he'll clean out the whole blame town. I ain't interested in hearsay, I tell you. Then I'll go get Zeke and fetch him to you. Blasted newfangled way of doing things. Ain't right, that's all. Ain't right. Zeke Merrill was respected throughout the community for his honesty and fair dealing. We go to his home now and meet his daughter, Nancy, busily engaged packing things into a trunk, while Slim Carter, the man discussed in the last scene, helps her. I don't understand Paul not coming here to bid us goodbye, Slim. You said he'd try hard to get down from his claim, Nancy, but he thinks he's struck a new load and he's anxious to follow her. But he did say he was willing for us to get married. Oh, sure. Didn't I tell you why? Yes. Wouldn't doubt my word, would you, Nancy? Well, if I doubted you, Slim, do you think I'd be fixing to marry you and take the next stage for the East? <laughs> sure not. You're a great girl, honey. There, there's only one thing worries me, Slim. What's that, honey? Would you care as much for me if Paul wasn't so rich? <laughs> of course I would. What's his cash got to do with us? Well, likely we'll have it all someday. Money don't mean a thing to me. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Hustle up now. Get that packing done. We'll sleep over the next town. Get married there. Uh... Why not here? No, I sooner do the thing so a secret. I don't want a lot of noise making on the horse play when we take the stage. Brad, that's Paul. Oh, I... I'll go see. You wait right here, Slim. Howdy, Miss Nancy. Is your boy at home? Oh, Sheriff Tucker. I'm glad to see you. Come on in. Where is he? He's at his claim. Shucks, I figured on seeing him. I'm sorry, but sit in the other room. I'm just packing my things. Packing your things? Mm-hmm. Slim Carter and I are going to be married and take the next stage for the East. What's that? Slim Carter? Yes. Why? Why, that dirty... Sheriff, don't you dare say anything against Slim. Father said it was all right for us to be married. Your pa said that? When? Slim rolled up to his claim to ask him. He said it would be all right. That's a downright lie. Where is that snake? Right here. Are well, you dirty? That's a fair sheriff, Tucker. I've got you covered. Slim, don't shoot. I won't. Unless the sheriff aims to make some trouble for himself. You had it in for me ever since you failed to solve a couple of crimes. You're trying to frame me for him, Tucker. Well, you... you... Thanks to the U.S. Marshal, you didn't get away with it. You're a murderer and a crook. He isn't. He told me how he's been treated here. That's why he's leaving for the East. Nancy, do some straight thinking. That smooth-talking horn toad has you believe in anything he wants to tell you. He's been misjudged. Just because he's from the East, you tried to frame him so you'd get credit for solving some crimes. No. Oh, oh, of all the blasts. Now, watch your language, Chef. Will you, you... Nancy and I are getting married and living on the next stage for the East. Well, well by dern, you ain't doing no such thing. You can't stop it. The heck I can't. You ain't leaving here till I see your father. I'll bring him here and then see what he's got to say. He won't come. He told Slim so. He'll come soon enough if he hears you're fixing to marry that crook. Why don't you go and see him, Tucker? That's a smart idea. There, you see? Slim is on the level. There ain't nothing with less sense than a woman in love. By thunderation, Nancy, this polecat sure enough got you believing black's white. You'd better leave here, Sheriff Tucker. I don't like the things you've said. You ain't heard nothing to what I'd like to say. Please go. I'll go. But by thunder, you just try leaving town till I get your old man here. You just try. I'll have the stage held till I get back with Zeke. Oh, hold on a minute, Sheriff. I have something to say. You said too much. I don't suppose there's any sense wasting time trying to convince you that I did see Zeke. No, it ain't. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Well? You wait until tomorrow morning. I'll ride up to Zeke's claim with you. Zeke. You will? Sure I will. What time? Well, I don't get up as early as you do. Let's plan to start about nine o'clock. Well, that's the middle of the day. I won't start at dawn. We'll leave at nine. Well, it'll be dark when we get there. What of it? 
We'll spend the night with Zeke and then start back the next morning. But, Tim, that'll mean we'll miss the stage. That's all right, honey. We can take the next one. I'd sooner wait a while and have a lot of trouble with this old fool. Old fool, huh? All right. We'll see Zeke Marrow, and if he says he's willing for you and his girl to marry, then by thunder, I guess I am an old fool. I'll meet you at nine in the morning. The Lone Ranger and Tonto enter our story at this point. The famous masked man and his Indian companion were camped in the shelter of huge rocks high up in the gold hills. Their fire was too small to be noticed by a man who rode past them. Tonto, it's dangerous riding through these hills after dark. Yet plenty bad. A dozen of places on the trail where a single misstep would mean certain death. Not right. Those who know these hills don't travel after dark. Tonto, go, warn Ryder. Very well. You stay here. Meet Ryder now. Yeah, now, Silver, old boy. I guess you're pretty well fixed for the night. We'll start out at daybreak, Silver, and head for town to see about the new United States Marshal there. You may! Well, the little rider is. I'd like to see him, but if he saw my mask, he might think it was a hold-up and try to run for it. Oh, uh, yeah! Get Tonto! Tonto! Have you been hit? Me, all right. So why did he fire at you? Me, not know. Me try to stop him. And he shot at you? Uh, him may be local. Did you see who it was? No, not see him. It's plenty dark. We've got to go after him. Steady, Silver. You right, Trail? Yes, that man must be stopped. Trail danger. Silver can cover it. That man thought you were a highwayman. It'll be our fault if he's hurt. Here, saddle. Cinch up and hurry. The following morning, Sheriff Tucker stopped at the home of Carter according to the arrangements made the night before. It had been agreed that Carter would accompany the sheriff to Zeke Merrill's mine. You there, Carter? Open the door. Hmm. Sounds like he's sick or something. You ready to go? Oh, Sheriff, I... I'm a sick man. What is it? I don't know what it is. I've been awake all night. First a bad toothache, and I've got the aching all over. So you're scheming to get out of heaven, Zeke Merrill, tell the truth about you. No, no, it ain't that. I just ain't up to riding in the mountains today. Very yes, savvy. I, I wish I could. Look here, Tucker. Why ain't you right up there alone? And leave you here? Sure. You can ask Merrill if he didn't say it'd be all right for me to marry Nancy. I can guess his answer without riding up there. But you can't. You won't believe what I say. Turn right, I won't. Well, go ask him. And leave you here? Yeah. Then you hightail it while I'm going. I'll wait here till you get back. I'll give you my word on it. Your word ain't worth a hoot to me. I wouldn't trust you as far as I can throw a mountain. I tell you that if I... want water. Huh? Where'd you come from? Me travel long way. Me want water. Well, help yourself to water, Redskin. There's a spring east of the house. What matter, fella? Huh? You plenty sick. Well, that's what he tells me, but I got my doubts. Him sick, fella. Me fix him. Well, hold on. What ails him, Injun? Me look. Find out. Get away from me. I don't want no Redskin around oh. me. Oh, but... You got fever. I ain't. I ain't. Hold on, Carter. Some of these redskins know more about doctrine than regular sawbones. Uh, this fella plenty sick. Me stay here. Make him well. Oh, look, I uh, see not... what you can do for him, Injun. I'll go get a couple of men to stand guard here. I'll do what you say, Carter, and head for Merrill's shack. But I'll make blame sure you stay here and don't run off with Nancy when I ain't around. I'll be back pronto with some guards. Confound it, Indian. I ain't no more sick than you are. Now clear out of here. You not know, Tom. I don't want to know you. It plenty dark last night. You not see Injun good. What do you mean? You not shoot straight. You miss. Get away from me. I didn't mean no harm last night. I didn't want to hurt you. You not hurt any feller, Gan. Don't, don't use that knife. Don't. Tonto, fix him you for all time. Listen, please, Injun, go away. Don't look at me like that. Oh, uh, now, Tonto, fix him you. Go. No, Injun's gonna kill me. Help me. Help! <laughs> 
The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Merrill was prevented by the sheriff, had agreed to face Nancy's father the next morning. But that same night, he made a secret trip to Merrill's mine, meeting Tonto on the way and firing at him. When the sheriff called for Slim, the young man pretended to be too sick to make the journey. Tonto entered, and when the sheriff left, he remained behind to threaten Carter. Our next scene is in the sheriff's office. Tucker is strapping his guns on. Doggone, Sheriff. What are you doing back in the office? I'm here to get you. Strap on your shooting iron and come with me. To Zeke Merrill's claim? No, I've got to go on there alone. Slim Carter has took sick. Sick, eh? <laughs> Too doggone bad he can't be worse off. Reckon that's the only way that polecat's crooked work will ever be stopped. I thought he was bluffing at first, just wanting to get out on a trip to Merrill's claim. But I guess he's really sick. Why? An engine came while I was there. He said Slim had the fever. Maybe it's the cussedness inside him biling up. Anyhow, I ain't taking no chances. On what? Him pulling the wool over my eyes. I wouldn't put it past him to play sick just to get me to go to see Zeke by myself and leave him to run off with Nancy as soon as my back is turned. Oh, I'm ready. What'll I do? Stay right with Slim Carter. Stand guard. So he can't leave, eh? Right. Come on now. Uh. Uh, Sheriff. Yeah? Look, I'm t- to stand guard on that critter all day long, ain't I? Yeah. Maybe all night if you don't get back by dark. Maybe. If it's dark when I'm at Merrill's place, I'll spend the night there sooner than make the mountain trail at night. Yeah. Now, what I was thinking of was this. Suppose, for instance, Slim Carter figured to try and bust away from me. Don't let him. Oh, I wouldn't let him. I was just a thinking, suppose he did try and bust away. Maybe I'd have to use my fist or a gun butt to sort of keep him quiet. Uh, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Hold on. If he tries to bust away, keep him quiet. I sure will. But don't get handy with your fist if he behaves himself. I can't tolerate that sort of roughhouse. Oh, no, Sheriff, I... Uh, get up, sir. Uh. wonder where the marshal is. The less I see of him, the better I like it. Dang fool notions he has about enforcing the law. Give me the willies. Well, maybe someday he'll learn better. Uh, hey, Sheriff, look yonder. Sheriff, Sheriff, help me. What the Sam Hill? That's Slim Carter. And he don't run like a man that's down sick with a fever. Sheriff, oh, that angel. Don't let him get me. What's the matter with you? Save me. Don't let that angel get me. He's like to kill me. What angel? He's got me mixed with someone else. He thinks I tried to kill him or something. He's got the wrong man. Seems like you got a way of always being mistook for someone else. You'll kill me if he has a chance. Gosh, wouldn't that be too bad? Make him go away. Look at the way he stands there glaring at me. He ain't the only one that looks at you with that sort of expression. Don't go away. You gotta stay in town. It's your duty to protect the citizens. Oh? Well, I'm not staying here. I'm going to Zeke's claim. Then make that redskin leave. Make him clear out. He's got as much right to be here as anyone. What's he done? Well, he ain't done nothing yet. It's what he's gonna do. Ah, you're loco. I ain't loco. See for yourself. There he is standing, staring, waiting for his chance. Sam, you better ride along with me. I reckon there ain't no use you staying around town. You can't leave me. I'll go with you. Now you're showing sense. Well, I'd sooner go and stay here with that redskin. All right, then. Get your horse and come along. 
That engine don't use the ways of white doctors, but he seems to have cured whatever ailed you mighty sudden. Get your horse. We'll wait for you. I'll get same stuff. I, I'll be with you pronto. <laughs> Somehow, Sam, I like that redskin. Uh, me too. He's coming this way. Hi, engine. Oh. Uh, what'd you do to that hombre? Me talk to you? Sure. What do you want to talk about? Feller, go to claim. Who went where? Feller named Slim, go Merrill Place last night. He did? Uh, What'd he go there for? Murder. Murder? Leaping cactus. Mean to say he's killed Zeke Merrill? You come, we find out. We're heading there pronto. First. Huh? You hear Tonto talk. Your name Tonto? Mm, That's right. You hear plan. Plan? Me scare, bad feller. You scared him all right enough, but what's the reason? And what's this about a murder? Tonto, tell you. While Slim Carter was saddling his horse for the ride to Merrill's place, Tonto told Sheriff Tucker of the Lone Ranger's plan. Then the sheriff, his deputy Sam, and Slim proceeded to the gold hills. Slim was quiet for most of the trip, but towards sundown he grew more and more uneasy with each passing moment. Straight ahead and there's the shack, Sam. Yep. Won't be long before we get there now. Reckon we won't have long to wait for grub, neither. Zeke will be fixing up some vittles about the time we get there. And I'm that hungry I could eat my boots. Yeah, me too. Not only you, Carter. You don't seem comfortable in that saddle. I'm all right. For your sake, Carter, I hope you told the truth about what Zeke said. Sure I did. Well, we get the truth firsthand pretty quick now. I told it to you. Zeke Merrill agreed you could marry Nancy, huh? Sure, that's it. That don't sound like Zeke by darn. Well, you're going to ask him, ain't you? You think I'd have made you ride all the way up here if I didn't know what I was talking about? There ain't no telling what a critter like you will do, Carter. Ain't no way of figuring out why you do the things you do, another. Ever ridden this trail before, Slim? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, what made you think I had? Just ask him, that's all. That Indian said you took a shot at him last night. You don't believe an Indian, do you? Getting so, I don't believe much of what anyone says. Reckon there ain't no use anymore. A man has got to have cold facts to work on. Uh, if he looks at things like the new marshal does, it don't matter a bit what a man believes. Sheriff, I, I reckon it'd be better if you and the deputy went on alone. Went on alone? What do you mean? You said. Oh, hold steady. I'll wait here for you. You go on and talk to Zeke and see just what he says. You're coming along with us. Oh, but hold on, Sheriff. You're a suspicious man. Got reasons to be. Well, if I was there, you might have a notion I was making Zeke agree to the marriage. If I ain't there, there won't be no interference. You can ask him anything you want to ask him. And where'd you be while I'm talking to him? I'll be right around. I ain't gonna run out on you. Hmm, Maybe he's right, Sam. What do you think? Well, ain't no harm in us going on alone. He can't get far. Even if he does try to get back to town, he won't make it in time to do him no good. I'll wait right here, Sheriff. When you finish talking to Zeke and found I'm on the level, you can just come to the door and wave to me. All right, you stay right here and see that you wait. Come on, Sam. Get up. Get up. Uh, I'll be right here waiting. You better be. (laughs) I'll be here, I'm sure. You can't go back with me. I reckon the next half hour I'll see the end of all my troubles. Don't move. That mask. Go ahead to the cabin, but go slowly. Oh, oh listen, mister, if it's cash you I want... I don't I... want cash. Get going. Into Zeke Merrill's cabin, Slim. Here, Silver. Who are you? Why should I go to Merrill's cabin? You'll find out when you get there. Now on your way. I won't do it. I ain't moving a step near the cabin. Hurry. No. Well, let's talk it over. Put them guns down, stranger. Hurry. You made a mistake. You got the wrong man. I ain't who you think I am. You're Slim Carter. I won't go to that house. We'll see about that. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Now, come along. Come on, Silver. Oh, 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 stop. Let me go. Oh, stop. Let me go. Don't pull me like this. It drag me off my horse. Let it lose that rope. It won't do you any good to yell like that. If you would come along peaceably, I wouldn't have had to rope you. Here we are. Oh, boy. Just to make sure you stay where you're put, I'll toss more coils of rope on you. 
Please, listen to me. Yeah. Wait a minute, Miss Carter. Oh, what's going on out here? There's someone to see you, Meryl. Carter? Help. Save me. He's got me wrong. Again? No, none of you. Draw your guns. I'm covering you. What's the big idea of this? Put this man near your fire. Yeah. No. Help me. Help me, Sheriff. What for? All of you listen to what I have to say. Merrill, you and Sheriff Tucker are the only ones who know Slim Carter for what he really is. Let me out. It's life and death. It's hot here. Put that fire out. Listen to me. Shut up. We got something more interesting to hear. Go on, stranger. What's the mask mean? Who is this man, Sheriff Tucker? Throw more wood on that fire. I'll attend to it. Both of you men knew Slim Carter was no good. He had to get rid of both of you so he could marry Nancy and inherit your money, Zeke. I'd like to see him try to marry Nancy. He was figuring on it. If you were killed, she'd believe his story that you gave permission for the marriage. If the sheriff was killed with you, there would be no obstacle left. That's what Slim Carter planned when he sent Sheriff Tucker here. I am the murderess. Why, you dirty, scheming fool. Hey, I'll, I'll explain everything. I can explain it all. I'll, I'll do the explaining. Let's have more fire. It's cold here. Sam, more wood. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. Don't throw no more wood on that fire. Fill the fire high so it'll last till morning. We leave here and get the U.S. Marshal to come up and get Slim Carter. I hope you got proof of what you said, mister. How did he plan to kill us? Let the Marshal find that out. Come with me. No, 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 don't leave me. Don't leave me to die. You can't do it. It's the same as murder. You'll be comfortable no, here, Carter. No, no. The rope won't hurt unless you struggle. No, no. We'll be back before you need food. No. Let's go. Keep you come along. If you say so, Tucker. That's all the wood is on him. It'll do. No, not that wood. Don't leave me. Get out of here. Save me. What do you mean? I've done it. I filled a log with blasting powder. It's in the fire now. It'll blow up most any minute. Save me. Take me out. Out of here. Hurry, well, there's a chance. You admit filling along with powder? Ain't I telling you? Nothing to kill Zeke Merrill? No, I admit anything. Just take me out of Sending here. Sending the sheriff here to die? Yes, yes. All right, that's all we need. Your confession will be enough. You needn't worry, Carter. I followed you last night. Saw you come here and fill that log with powder. And put it where Zeke Merrill would take it into the house for tonight's fire. You did? Well, I'll be. And you didn't tell me? Instead, I took the powder from the log. It's harmless. Tell went to town to learn more about Slim Carter. Now we got you, Slim, with your own confession. Frame me, huh? Frame me. Well, I deny it all. What's the word of a mask, man? There ain't no proof of what you say. And you think the U.S. Marshal will believe you in preference to us? Well, I'll take my chances on that. Of all the dirty, two-faced, double-tied skunks. Well, we're witnesses to what you confess. Sure, and the two of you have been trying to jail me all along. Well, I'm glad there's law and order in this section that calls for proof. Oh, I'm timing. You overlook one thing, Carter. Well? You're counting on the leniency of the new marshal. He's for law and order. He certainly is. And that's why Tyler brought him here to overhear all that you said. We hear him. No, honey, gents. Marshal. Did you hear this rat-faced crook squealing when he thought his worthless hide was in danger? I sure did, Merrill. And it looks like Sheriff Tucker and I had better get together on the way we deal out justice. Carter? This is the time you stuck your neck right into the noose. Shucks, he didn't do it. The masked man and Tonto stuck his neck in for him. Come on there, silver old boy. There's trouble ahead, and Tonto is waiting. I know, silver.
The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank <laughs> you.